Hey, what's going on guys? This is Danny from DoTech and welcome back with a brand new video. In this video, I have another beautiful tweak to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be called No Camera Swip to Switch. And that's basically is going to be disable the switch mode on the camera app. And I'm going to be showing you guys how is that going to be looks like. So basically after you download the tweak, you need to just launch the camera application here. And once you launch the application before, once you want to swipe right and left, you can switch between the mode, as you guys can see here in the bottom. That's when before you download the tweak. But after you download the tweak right now, as you guys can see, I can't switch in between the mode. But it doesn't mean that it's not gonna be, I can't switch anymore. Simply if I just stop on it, as you guys can see right now, this is how is that going to be work after you download the tweak. And I think this is more useful than before. So you can just simply tap on the mode that you want to set your camera up on it. And then after that, you can just go ahead and take a picture or you want to record a video. That's what is pretty much the tweak is going to be providing you with. And under the settings, there is nothing to configure. The tweak will be work right away once you launch your camera app. There you go, guys. No camera swipe to switch. Next, what I have for you guys, no low storage. So sometimes when you have almost full storage on your iDevice, you'll receive a notification or a kind of message is going to be pop up on your screen. That message, it just advise you that your storage is almost full. Even if you want to just like take like a small shot or video or one or two pictures and you want to just save those in your studio, that message will be came right away. So when you download no low storage, that week is not going to be providing you with some extra storage in your device. No, it just going to be disable that message from your device when you once your device has a limited storage and uh, that message will be disabled under the settings. The tweak has nothing to configure. It will be work right away when you set it in your iDevice. There you go, guys. No low storage. And next, what I have for you guys is the Quick Pro X for the iOS 10. And that tweak right there is going to be providing you with a lot of cool stuff that you can set it on your iDevice. I'm going to be showing you guys right now under the settings. How is that going to be work? All right, so under the settings here, as I told you guys, that tweak is going to be providing you with a lot of cool stuff that you can set on your iDevice. One of these things here, so you can play with your status bar gestures, and then you can set a lot of things on your control center. You can play with your gesture, with your spotlight lock, and your lock screen, and as well as you can add some cool stuff in your home screen. I can't go through a lot of details, but I'm going to be showing you guys some cool stuff that you can set with that week in your iDevice. So if you want to go to the gestures here, the status bar gestures here, disable the status bar gestures, you can disable that or you can just enable that. And then here, as you guys can see, I have some toggles right now here. It's already on. I'm going to be showing you guys what does that mean. So it's already explained to you some cool stuff. What is that week is going to be providing you with. If you want to swipe on your status bar on the right side here, you can simply just power off your device. If you want to swipe on your left corner, just like so, it's going to be taking you right away to your home screen. Let me just go back here. If you tap and hold, you will be taking a screenshot for your device. Just like so. If you double tap on it, it will be taking you right away to your switcher. This is what is that week is going to be providing you with. Really beautiful and nice set for your eye device. Let me go right now to the control center. This gesture is here. So some cool stuff that you can customize. And let me go back to the background color. So here you can add some color effect to your control center. As you guys can see right now, my control center has some color on it. The tweak is going to be providing you with some colors here. So you can play with all those sliders to play with the color. So I'm using here right now the green. I'm going to be use the red. So this is the red here. I'm going to be open my control center. As you guys can see here, this is how is that going to be work. And more cool stuff and even some nice set. You can use that tweak 
when you set it on your iDevice. I told you guys it's really beautiful and nice tweak to set it on your iDevice under the big boss. Highly recommend you guys to download it. It's really beautiful and nice to set it on your iDevice. There you go guys, CC Quick Pro X for the iOS 10. Next, what I have for you guys is Fancy NC. So when you download the tweak, that tweak is gonna be providing you with some cool stuff on your lock screen and home screen not notification. So it's gonna be move completely all headers from your widget notification. And this is how is that gonna be looks like. Let me show you guys because I already set it on my iDevice. So as you guys can see right now, most notification when you receive it on your iDevice, lock screen, home screen, as I told you guys, is gonna be looks like this no headers is gonna be move most the empty space in between the notifications and it's gonna be makes your notification really cool and clear this is what is that week is gonna be providing you with once you download the tweak there is nothing under the setting to, to configure it will be work right away once you set the tweak on your iDevice there you go guys fancy and see Another cool tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the Facebook High Story Swipe Left. And what is that tweak is going to be provide you with is going to be hide the camera app from your Facebook application. I'm going to be showing you guys what, what I mean here. Okay, if you launch your Facebook application on your iDevice, always if you want to swipe up, down, by mistake sometimes, you open your camera app from there. So right now, if you want to swipe, the camera app is not going to be work anymore. This is what is that tweak is going to be providing you with. Under the settings, there is nothing to configure. The tweak is going to be work right away once you launch your Facebook app. And this is what is that tweak is going to be providing you with. There you go, guys. Highly recommend you guys to download it. Facebook hide stories swipe left. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, please just like always give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel for more videos. This is Dude Tech. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.